Hello YouTube, it's Herp Derp here with another belated episode of Warframe Spy Vaults, and we're here on Umbrella Uranus today. The target console uh, is nearby. I apologize for if the long the delay between now, episodes the here. But... Oh, data. shut up, Lotus! Shut up! Shut up! Okay, we're trying to trying to talk about Uranus here. So, as far as I understand, these vaults have actually shown up on some sortie missions. That can be pretty nice to actually know how to hack these ones. But there are three different vaults in Uranus, and so every mission that you run for Spy on Uranus, you're always going to hit all three vaults. Ah, uh, so this one, this one's probably... Uh, everyone has a different opinion on these three vaults, depending on who you talk to. In my opinion, this particular vault is the most difficult. It's the big... It's the big vertical tower vault, I guess I'll call it today. I don't know. They, there are specific names for each vault, you know, A, B, C, but I don't actually know which one in the programming files is A, which one's B, which one's C. I just know because they always change around which order they are in each mission, you know. So, at any rate... So we have this big tower vault, and as I always say, there's multiple ways to do each vault. Whoa, so I'm bringing, I'm bringing a Banshee today so I can get a nice uh, long-range sonar, which appears to have not picked up a single thing, even though I know that's not the, the truth in this vault. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men, right? Okay. So, the important thing to know about this vault is that there's at least three different ways to do it. Like, a, like I've said, there's usually multiple ways to, to do the vaults. First thing you can try, if you want to try it, and I would not recommend this, but if you have a Warframe with a lot of mobility and a way to get through lasers, something like a Limbo maybe would be nice, would be able to do this easily. Um, there's this little thingy here where, you notice, you, you notice the elevator? Yeah, in the end, so you try and climb up, the elevator runs away from you. Always happens. Anyway, so you'd have to be able to either parkour around these various bands of lasers, or you'd have to be able to somehow phase straight through them, or use some sort of mobility, warframe power to get through them. Um, but once you do that, you can actually climb straight through a vent and get to the top of this tower very easily. Wow, it's still not showing up anything, that's weird. Must, sensor regulators must not show up in sonar, that's weird. See, that's the thing, right? There are a ton of sensor regulators in this vault, so I mean, there's... That's the biggest issue with doing it. the second way. Huh. The second way goes as follows. Uh oh, let's see if I can get around here without anyone seeing me. Okay. So as you can see, there are various little platforms up and around the vault, and you can actually parkour your way up through these various platforms. Ooh, hello, sir. Nice to see you. Goodbye. All right. I'm doing a video. You get out of my face, Mr. Drake Harley Lancer. Alright, so you can parkour up around those, but there are a lot of sensor regulators they have to take out as you can go. And that's that's just kind of the uh, kill everything method of doing it, which is always viable. But this is Uranus, and on Uranus, if you've played on this plant before, you know that there are a lot of things you can do that just entirely break expectations. So here we go. Let's do the, vault. the third way, which I think is personally just the easiest, because as it turns out, since the regulators can't swim. Okay. Okay, come on. Right, I see one over there in the back right corner, so... Gotta... Whoa! Watch the position. Of whichever regulator is on the same level as me. But, if you listen... Did you hear that explosion as the water came up? Destroyed that sensor regulator that was around the corner over here. In fact, I might be able to see some floating rubble. Nah, there's just a little ammo kit where he drops. Well, okay, that's fine though. So as you, so as you can see, you can also, uh, if you, uh, if you know the vault pretty well, I've done this before a couple of times. You can go around and look for these little panels. But the first ones, actually on the left side, as you came in, so I went around the long way. See, here's, I'll show you. How to, I'll swim around the vault and show you some more of this stuff. So here's the entrance right there, and then the, fir the first set of these things to blow up the, these water pipes is to your left from the entrance. The second set is directly above the entrance, back over here. Let's let myself turn around there. And then the third set, if we look around, I believe is off to right. Let me check. Um no maybe not, maybe not. Let me look over here. Where where are they? Are they back over here? 
Um, oh yeah, okay. The third, the third set's uh, back up across from the other side from the entrance. Now, I would actually, I would actually not recommend shooting these. Yeah, as you can see, I could totally just shoot these out with a uh, with my arc wing weapon right here. But I would actually recommend you use a, you get up on land with the regulators and use a silenced weapon like a bow to do this because there are usually people on the top floor that can hear you. Okay, that regulator is getting out of the way. So we can quick check these out. And, God. As you notice, there was that big set of shielding up there that actually yeah, Warframe abilities can't really go through that to get you up there. You just have to you just have to pull your way up. But as you can see, that shielding goes away when it gets sorted out. Now here's the most dangerous part of this vault is once in a very great while, there'll be someone up here waiting for you on this rampart, just waiting to ruin your day. See, okay, so we're on Umbreal, the lowest version, so actually since I didn't trip the alarms, there's there actually were no guard spawns today. Usually there's one or two guards to, that spawn into this. As you can see, now it's now it's filled with wire, but as you can see. Oh alarms. As you can see, the you, you can hurry. still come up that way. I don't believe I just did that for you guys. I also can't believe I can't get out. Okay, I'm gonna have to re-record this. <laughs> wow. That was possibly the least. Oh, there we go. Okay, and maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hang on. That was one of the least skillful things I have ever done at hacking this vault. Uh, but hopefully we can still get this hack off, even though I set the alarms trying to show you the interior of that Belvedere shaft. Yeah, there we go. Okay, lost some affinity there, but it's all right. So as you can see, there are plenty of little lasers. They have laser plates you have to phase through in the interior of this elevator. So that's why I would not recommend going this way. I'd recommend just going through and shooting out the various little pipes to get your way through this, but you can do whatever you want. That's why we're showing you this series, because sometimes one way is going to be easier than another. For example, if there were not sensor regulators prowling around, if this was an alert mission, and there were just regular Grenier walking up along those paths, it might be easier instead of trying to swim all your way up with the with the little water pipes to just, you know, walk along the paths and shoot each guard as you come to them, and eventually you'll get to the top. I don't know. It's all up, all up to you. That's the way I usually do this vault. So, all right, that is the uh, the the tower vault, perilous tower vault. All right, and we can and uh, we'll get through the other couple vaults here. But as you can see, there's some equally interesting uh, Uranus type things you can do with those vaults as well. All right, peace out, YouTube. Herb to derp out.